Ghost Lake, west of Calgary, a popular place for people wanting to boat, sail, paddle, and swim. Callum McDonald is here for a different reason. He's a biologist with the Alberta Invasive Species Council, a nonprofit that educates the public about the destructive impacts of invasive species. He's brought along an eDNA testing kit. The E stands for environmental a relatively new way to check for the presence of invasive species in the water. Within a matter of moments, the machine will take in enough water for a sample to send to a lab at the University of Alberta that could determine what, if any, organisms are in the water that shouldn't be. We'll be looking for uh, zebra and quagga mussels. Those are probably the number one threat to lakes, rivers and irrigation in Alberta. They are not currently present in Alberta and they are extremely hard to eradicate uh, once established. McDonald says the mussels have caused huge environmental and economic costs in other parts of the country. The zebra and quagga mussels arrived in Canada in the 1980s, likely through ballast water from ships coming up the St. Lawrence. They've spread to hundreds of locations across North America. They're in Manitoba, Ontario and Quebec. They've carpeted almost the entire bottom of the Great Lakes. They've disrupted aquatic food chains, altered water chemistry, Fish species have gone extinct or had their populations decimated. They've clogged intake pipes for water treatment and power plants. This is how quickly quagga mussels invaded, colonized, and clogged a drainage pipe in Lake Mead, Nevada, in the span of just six months. Damage to infrastructure in the Great Lakes alone is in the hundreds of millions of dollars. Costs to manage the problem is estimated at nearly $700 million a year for repairs to power plants, water systems, and industrial facilities. A government estimate published in March says the management cost, if the mussels reached Alberta, would be about $76 million a year. Okay, show me how to collect a sample. So we'll take our silica membrane filter, the five micrometer filter, and this is what's going to collect our DNA. So I'm going to put our little plastic extender on the end of our filter. That'll let us reach down into the water. Uh, and then the silica filter is in here. So that's where the DNA from the environment will stick on. And then when we send this to the laboratory, they can run the DNA test on that DNA. Okay. After connecting the tubes, the lake water is drawn in. I'm going to turn it on. You're going to hold it there. Okay. So I usually aim for about a liter of water. And three, two, one, flip up. You've collected a sample. Yay. <laughs> Amazing. Citizen scientist. The province is hoping to keep Alberta free of zebra and quagga mussels. It's increased the number of boat inspection stations to 11, and new this year, those inspections are mandatory for anyone bringing a boat into Alberta along the east or south borders. The number of boat inspections has more than doubled since 2023 to more than 18,000. The number of mussel-fouled boats intercepted hasn't surpassed 20 over the past few years. So far this year, there have been 12. 336 boaters have failed to stop for mandatory inspections, an offence that carries a maximum penalty of $4,200. 43 people failed to properly drain their boat. That comes with a maximum fine of $600. It's not just mussels that McDonald is looking for. Unfortunately, we are ground zero for Prussian carp in North America. Alberta was the first jurisdiction in North America to find Prussian carp. The invasive species has since made its way into Saskatchewan through shared waterways. It disrupts aquatic ecosystems and can threaten native fish. McDonald is also looking for a similar species, goldfish. The main pathway of introduction for Prussian carp and goldfish is illegal transfer and release. So that refers to, unfortunately, people putting live fish uh, in buckets and moving them around the province and releasing them live into lakes, rivers, irrigation and stormwater ponds. The province says Prussian carp and goldfish have now been confirmed in more than 100 water bodies across the province. Prussian carp and goldfish uh, are voracious feeders, so they are very hungry fish. They eat up a lot of the uh, aquatic invertebrates and other food sources that provide food for our native and stocked fish. So they take away uh, a key food source for our important fish species here in Alberta and cause their populations and their body sizes to decline. My boss had shown me a video of her standing on a frozen stormwater pond. It was minus 30 degrees and you can see orange fish swimming under her feet at minus 30 degrees. So yes, absolutely, the aquatic invasive species present here in Alberta are surviving our winters 
no problem. So people, yeah, releasing uh, their aquarium contents, their pets, uh, things like that into our lakes, rivers, and irrigation systems can have serious unintended consequences. And uh, uh, in many cases, it's irreversible. It's uh, impossible to eradicate some of these invasive species. But McDonald is hopeful. We are winning against uh, a handful of species. Uh, I would highlight uh, invasive Phragmites. A tall invasive grass. Some people have compared it to bamboo. The record height in Alberta is 13 feet. So it's uh, a very shocking species that can overtake uh, drainage areas, uh, shallow irrigation canals, and of course shorelines along lakes and rivers. And it has utterly devastated southern Ontario and much of, uh, of eastern Canada and the United States. McDonald says when it was spotted here, quick action was taken. In Alberta, um, we uh, detected an outbreak of invasive Phragmites quite early. Uh, we got a, a real strong catch on it and there was substantial control efforts uh, in, uh, in, a, in a very swift fashion from the major railways and from Alberta transportation. Uh, and we have uh, eradicated about a third of the locations with all, under, all remaining locations receiving some kind of control effort last year or in 2025. And he says there's more good news from the testing done at Ghost Lake. The lab results for zebra and quagga mussels have come back negative, maintaining for now Alberta's invasive mussel-free status.